Hey guys, Brian here here, and this I feel like is something I wanted to share with you because this is becoming a more typical salon scenario. You've got people that come in that want balayage, but not everybody is starting off with a fresh head of virgin hair. Here we've got a very, very common scenario where she's been getting highlighted for years and has become a very, very blonde guest as is. So how do you move her into that without telling her, just wait a year until it all grows out? So what we're doing, if you look at some of the sections we've already done, I've got two different formulas. I've got our lightener, then I also found a nice low light. So as I'm coming through with our triangular sections, I'm framing the outside with the highlight and then going in through the middle, creating a little bit more dimension with the low light. I'll do one right here so you can see. Got our triangular section. I'm gonna brush on the outsides. Work that up near the root. And then that's just gonna fade into the hair that's already blonde. There's no need to run that all the way through. And now you can see that line of demarcation where these highlights are growing out. So I'm gonna take our low light, paint that through the middle, I'm not running it into the highlights on the outside because I don't want them to process kind of funny because they're two different colors. So I'm letting it just go right down the center, sort of creating that negative space of the balayage. And what that's going to do is that's actually going to give us an extra level of dimension because you're going to have that hair in through here that's not being touched as well as what's being lightened and what's being darkened. So stay tuned and we'll have a pretty cool finished look for you. So as you can see, now we've got a very natural looking low lighted dimension in there that makes her look like she came in with virgin hair to get a balayage highlight technique rather than coming in with the already super blonde. If you really pay close, close attention, you can kind of see what you did by framing out with the lightning and then adding the dark. But then as she just runs her hands through it, it just gives a really nice natural dimension to it. So there you go. Thanks guys.